This video will explain a simple three-step framework that we use at Lilac James to write killer Facebook ad copy that stops the scroll, gets more leads, and makes more sales. So let's go. Oh! <laughs> Nearly every business wants to generate more leads and sales, and Facebook advertising is one of the most powerful advertising platforms in the world. The AI is only rivaled really by Google, and it keeps getting better and better, and it's, it's actually a little bit scary. <laughs> It's a fantastic place to make money and generate sales, but many people treat it a bit like a casino thinking it's gonna be easy, and they lose money, and they quickly give up thinking that it's not gonna work for them. So what's the secret to making them work? Well, here's the big secret. There isn't one. Making Facebook ads really work for you is more about having solid marketing fundamentals, a great offer, and lots of little things all being done correctly. But one of the most important parts is the primary ad copy, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So here's a quick overview of the other parts that make up a general ad. Now this ad is from an e-commerce client of ours. This bit at the top here is the primary text. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. The bit that you can see at the top before clicking the see more button, we're gonna call this the hook and we'll detail about that later. The next part is the creative where you can include images, videos, carousels, compilations, and loads of other bits and pieces. And here we have the headline and finally the call to action button which can say and do a variety of things. We'll cover more about these bits in other videos on this channel. Shameless plug, subscribe now. The primary ad copy right at the top of the page, it's so important because it's a large part of what entices people to pay any attention to your ads. Each of us is apparently bombarded by about 1,700 ads per day, and the only way we can function in the 21st century is to ignore the majority of them. I'm ignoring you. So not only does your ad need to be in front of the right people, it also needs to be compelling enough to make them pay any attention to it at all. So step one is the hook. The hook is the bit of the copy at the top of the ad that people see before they have to do anything else. The hook is how you cut through the subconscious filter that we all apply and cut to the chase about what your ad is all about. One of the biggest factors for making a Facebook ad really work is having a fantastic offer and it's within the hook part of your primary text that you succinctly communicate what that offer is. The hook is where you grab attention and you stop people from scrolling. Yesterday. The reason that the hook is so important is because if it doesn't compel people to click that see more button, then it doesn't matter how good the rest of the ad copy is because nobody is going to read it. Now you often only have 125 characters to make that impression before they see that see more button. So you need to make them count. Now this is where most of your creative energy in terms of your writing should be focused. Take this example from Jasper. They're targeting me at the moment, they're targeting a marketer, and they lure me into the ad with, generative AI has the potential to augment marketing teams in ways that the industry has never seen before. Now to a guy like me in marketing, always looking to improve what we do, that's quite compelling. That's gonna stop me and make me pay attention. They then go on to say, claim your copy to understand how generative AI can become the every marketing team's secret weapon. So they're now telling me what they want me to do, all within the hook which is why I have no doubt that this ad, this ad is generating them a really good return on investment. Within their hook, they tease me with how AI can improve marketing teams in never seen before ways, and they encourage me to download their guide, all within a few short sentences. It's all done right there and then. So always consider within your hook, if you can outline any offers, discounts, limited time deals, or emphasize any authentic scarcity, it has to be authentic. The quicker you get your value of, of your offer across, the better. Number two is the main body of the copy. This is the main part of your copy and the goal is simple, to present a solution to a problem that your target market has. When your reader finishes reading the ad, ideally, many will be sufficiently enticed to take the action that you want them to take, whether that be visiting your sales page, downloading a guide, or submitting themselves as a lead. Now, if you think about the hook as the email subject line that encourages people to read and the main body copy is like the email itself. In terms of length, this will vary a lot depending on the product, the type of ad, the offer. Generally, we'd recommend what we would recommend is that you write at least five variations of your ad copy and you contain these within one ad. 
To do other copy variations, simply click the Add Text Option button, which is directly underneath the Primary Copy section. To get even more advanced, you should consider A-B testing your ads when you specifically test which hooks and primary text variations work the best. But by having five variations within the same ad, you allow the Facebook, ad, the Facebook Ads AI to test which variation works best to achieve your set objectives. And you also allow it to keep your ads fresh, to keep cycling that content in front of your audience. The main body of your copy should be used to explain your offer in more detail, but make sure you talk more about the outcomes and the benefits of your products, products or services, not just the features. Consider this ad from Huel, who I love. They immediately hit the reader with, got time to boil a kettle, as they know one of the main issues for people eating healthily is time. So they open by addressing this pain point. They then explain the benefits to, to the reader of their product. They don't start talking about the manufacturing process or the product specifications. That stuff all exists on their website. If the customer wants it, there it is. Now remember, no one cares about you or your business. It's a harsh truth, but they don't care. They care about how you or your business can solve their problems to improve their life. So keep your focus within the ad copy on that. This ad is targeting an audience who is problem aware. They know what problems they have and Huel are educating them on the solution. If your target customer is solution aware, then they are likely conducting product comparisons online. So your ads need to more focus on your USP, your social proof, building trust and credibility within your ad copy, as well as hyping your offer. Now your solution aware ads need to persuade the customer about why they should choose you. Finally, we have the call to action part of the copy. Now this is where we ask our audience to do something that we want them to do, such as visit our website, buy our products, subscribe to our newsletter, etc. To make calls to action really work, we need a great offer. We need something compelling that will really encourage people to take some form of action that ultimately we want. Time limited deals or highlighting some genuine scarcity is a fantastic way of focusing their mind and encouraging them to take action. This also works great in the product and very aware phases where your ads are simply looking to nudge viewers into taking some form of action. Consider Huel's call to action again, which is just get 21 meals for as little as £2.66 per meal plus a free t-shirt and pot if you're a new customer. This is called a value stack. They're adding to their normal offer by giving away a free t-shirt and a pot for new customers. Once a customer buys once, they're in their marketing ecosystem and additional sales will be far more simpler down the line for them. And that is our three-step approach. It's nice and simple, but if you follow it, it will work. Natural, naturally, there are several other parts to building a great ad and we cover them on our YouTube channel, so make sure that you do subscribe and we'll see you next time.